a quick update here on the pond that I have outside. Winter's pretty much ended now and we are going into summer. And it's just crazy how much the plants in here have already started to grow back. So it's still a bit cold sometimes. I think we had a little bit of frost, a little bit of snow the other day. But then sometimes when the sun comes out, it's very warm. So I've kind of kept the container around the tank. I'll show you that in a bit. But I've got this wooden lid basically that keeps out the frost. Because the pond is above ground, it needs some sort of shelter to keep the heat in. So I have three goldfish in here and they're quite big now. And they've all survived. I don't think it's going to get much colder now. I think it's, I think it's going to get a little bit warmer actually because it's, you know, it's April, the start of April. So it's beginning to warm up now, especially when the uh, sun comes out. So I'll take the container off soon. But just look at how much these plants have already started to come back. And I can tell that by the plants being having grown this much already, by the time you know summer comes around properly, these plants are really going to take over. I can already see that from last year, there's a lot more plants that have already grown back. For instance, the the, the really tall reeds just here on the right now. I think I only had like two or three of them in there last year and anyway the winter came they died back but now they're starting to come back up there's like double triple the amount so I'm looking forward to seeing all that uh, growing properly and also this uh, flamingo plant that's uh, growing across the water that's just going to explode it's in the elodia there at the bottom as well in the middle that stuff lasts all winter, it doesn't die in the winter. So I put a load of that in before the winter came just to keep the tank a little bit filtered. You know, I still wanted some sort of plant alive in there over winter. So that's grown quite a lot as well. It's good for the fish to hide in as well. See all the reeds there on the left, just so many of them that have come back. The main feature here that I'm quite proud of is my overflow from the water butt. It's a rainwater overflow automatic. Once the water butt fills up of water, instead of the rest of it going down the drain, it goes into the pond. It works really well. And when it rains, I just get so much water running, running into that pond. So, just just had constant water changes on it. When I've been sat inside, I know that every time it rains, this pond gets a really good uh, water change. And there's the overflow there. So this is an overflow. It's a big pipe, two inch thick, uh, two inch wide pipe, with some mesh over the top so the fish don't go down. And when the pond overflows, the water runs down there and into a drain. So it's just constantly ready for a water change whenever it rains and I think that's what keeps the fish uh, healthy without me doing anything. So this is the full pond with the cover on. You can see the cover is obviously the top bit with, uh, it's like a wooden frame with twin wall polycarbonate. It's got two lids. So the whole pond was made by me and my dad and when the winter came built this lid that just clips on so it just sits on the top and then clips down just so it doesn't go anywhere and it keeps the heat in especially when it's been sunny throughout the day it really locks in the heat and keeps the water from uh, freezing up or getting too cold for the fish so that's the pond I'll update it again when it really gets warm and those plants really start coming out so this was just a quick update uh, thanks a lot for watching see you soon